Hey y'all, welcome to the Thanksgiving Tablescape Challenge hosted by Second Hand Tracy Ann. Head over and check out her channel. She is awesome. She has a lovely home that she decorates in the most beautiful farmhouse style. I absolutely love this lady. She's awesome at her DIYs and crafting. She's super fun to watch. I just love her. Not to mention, she's from the same town I'm from, Charlottesville, VA. I love you, Tracy. Thank you so much for hosting this wonderful challenge. For this challenge, we're supposed to set up a Thanksgiving tablescape for our family, but I'm going to do mine a little bit different. While I show you the different tablescapes that I set up, I'm going to tell you about our Thanksgiving traditions, as Tracy also asked us to do. I hope you enjoy. We have many traditions for Thanksgiving. My husband bakes the turkey every year to perfection. It's also a tradition that he and my sons go and pick the collards fresh from the field. My daughters bring their favorite desserts, banana pudding, bamalama pie, Italian cream cheesecake. Mmm, mmm, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. But one thing that stands out most in my mind this time of year is just the general gathering together of our family. It's a tradition that we've done for many years. As long as I can remember, our family has gathered together to enjoy the blessings that God has so richly bestowed upon us. All the hustle and bustle of planning and preparing add to the excitement. From going to the fields to cut collards to preparing the Thanksgiving feast, it is a tradition we hold dear to our hearts. The flavors of the seasons, the cinnamon and apple, the turkey and sage, and let's not forget the pumpkin spice everything, make me thankful that I'm healthy enough to eat and have plenty. For this, I'm very grateful. The smells of the season remind us of the bounty we're blessed with. From the golden turkey with homemade sage dressing and mashed taters to the ever so delectable homemade pumpkin and southern hospitality pies, we're reminded that with everything on our table that someone or something had to give. For this, I am grateful. The sounds of the season remind us of who we're blessed with. Our homes ring with laughter, telling stories and reminiscing, which also brings us to shed a tear when we remember that over time, even though our table has grown larger, it's also missing someone we love. We're grateful for the memories we've shared and for the hope that we will see them again one day. For this, I am grateful. The sights of the season are truly a sight to see. The fallen leaves, to see all our children and grandchildren gathered together under one roof, to enjoy the blessings we have received is such a gift, a true gift from the Lord. Finally, the feeling of the season is felt in the chill of the air. The leaves blowing in the wind remind us that the colder days are coming. The warmth of cozy blankets, crackling fires, and hot chocolate warms the bones. The feeling of the season is also shown by the love and excitement that is all around us. The warmth of a hug warms our hearts. The feeling that we are loved by our family, our friends, but mostly our Heavenly Father warms our soul. This Thanksgiving season, I want to be thankful, not just on Thanksgiving, but every day of my life. There's truly always something every day of our life to be thankful for. Thanks so much for watching. It is my prayer that you all have a wonderful and happy Thanksgiving. I love y'all.